The legend says that Arthur was discovered to be the true heir of the throne of England when he pulled out a sword that was embedded through an anvil and into a large stone. This lay in London with a sign that proclaimed, Whoso pulleth out this sword of this stone and anvil is rightwise king born of all England. Arthur had not realized this when he pulled it out, but it was soon known that this young man was the rightful king of the land. Arthur was accompanied by Merlin, but he lamented that he had no sword of his own, and who had ever heard of a king without a sword? Merlin took him to a lake where he saw a woman's arm clad in white silk that was interwoven with gold and silver thread rise from the water clutching a sword. Arthur also saw a beautiful woman walking over the surface of the lake towards him. He asked Merlin who it was, and he replied that it was Nimu, the lady of the lake, and that he must ask her for the sword, for it was her property. She greeted Arthur well, and he asked her if he may have the sword that was held aloft above the surface of the lake, and she agreed, saying it was called Excalibur.